got a boat a couple years ago and it had this on it and uh, this Honda served me well but it started giving me an error code it started beeping the buzzer was going off on the uh, boat it started a couple months ago engine was running good uh, I didn't notice any problem with it really um, so but while I was driving then I would just uh, hit the reset button or uh, excuse me turn the ignition off and turn it back on and uh, Then it would stay off you sometimes I'd run for I don't know maybe 30 45 minutes and it would never come back on and I'm Trying to show you this here In case you need to see it. Well, I couldn't find this online anywhere Got this book that helps So I ignored it for a while because the engine was running fine oil was fine. You know everything looked fine. So uh, uh then I took it out yesterday and uh, and it started uh, started acting up. It was making the alarm and it was just constant beeping for like one second on, one second off kind of. Uh, and the RPM range was not at idle and not at higher speeds, but kind of mid to lower mid range uh, in running. Like maybe like 2000 RPMs, you know, 1800 to 2500, somewhere in there. Anyway, uh, I find that you got to short something out in, in here. I couldn't find this anywhere. So uh, I got to thank, first of all, the guys at marineengines.com. I found, uh, found some inf great information on there that got me steered in the right direction. But nothing on YouTube. So here we go. Uh, Pop the cover off here. And then uh, I removed this thing. This little cover off the electronics here and get in here i found this red connector on mine this is uh i believe it's a 2002 model uh bf 200 uh and this little red connector sits right up in here beside the oil filter okay it's right up in there it's upside down the uh connector uh uh is off of it right now to expose the, the where i can get to the pins here somebody uh the thread that I saw said that it's the wires closest to the engine, but the way mine sits, it's actually the wires further away from the engine. But they do uh, say that it's the lime green and a black wire you're supposed to short to get the codes here. So I put a little short in there. And then we go over here. This this engine's on a uh, a 99C uh, 99. What is this thing? Aqua Sport. Uh, 215 dual console hopefully the sun doesn't mess us up here all right so uh, so now I got the uh, indicators down here and uh, when the alarm sounds uh, I hear the the beeper uh, going off under the dash and uh, gosh honestly I can't remember if I see a light coming on or not I think I do I think that the engine light comes on and stays solid this, I guess this is the MIL light. Uh, I forget what that stands for. But anyway, now when I turn the key on, according to the what I've seen, it will give me the error code. So let's see what happens here. So I get that I get one sh one blink and then it's followed by two sh two longs and uh, three shorts. So that sounds like 20 23. Uh, and here it's got 945 hours on it. So what I, I got this a few years ago used. So I'm not sure if this is accurate, but it seems to be. The boat's in overall pretty decent con condition. The the engine and all looks like it, you know, had fairly decent care, I guess. Uh, I've changed the timing belt a year ago. Of course, all oil change, spark plugs, all that stuff. Changed all the fuel filters and stuff on it. Uh, lower unit, you know, all the usual stuff. And uh, so this is, uh, wasn't really expected to, to have any anything. Uh, but after doing uh, some reading and stuff, I, this 23 code says that it's the... Uh, knock sensor here and thanks again to those guys on marineengines.com they uh 
said that this is the one and I'll read it in the book as well of course that this is the knock sensor and uh, you got to basically take the engine apart in order to change this sensor out so I'm gonna use their advice on there and uh, try everything else first uh, maybe go with a temporary tank uh, go out and run it some with uh, known good gas uh, gonna check the, I haven't checked the spark plugs but uh, it, it did yesterday when it was having the problem I would motoring along at uh, I was just up on plane, so I'm going about 3,000 RPMs. It would go, uh, uh, it would start slowing down. The boat would start slowing down very slowly, and then it would start speeding back up again. And that that let me think, led me to believe that there was maybe a cylinder that, that wasn't uh, firing correctly. So maybe I can update this in uh, well, maybe a week, and uh, tell you how I fixed it. Good luck. I put a can of sea foam in a gallon of gas there. I'm gonna, I ran it here. It seems to be running fine, like always. Uh, I'm gonna take it down to the water here and give it a try now. Run some of that through it a lot faster. about half of our gallon of gas out now with the sea foam in it. A little bit more running. I've got a few photos here to show you now. Um, I started working on the engine. I re, uh, pulled the spark plugs out to look at those and I uh, drained the fuel out of the uh, high pressure uh, bowl there. Uh, the I found the screw in the bottom you had to loosen with a with a flathead uh, to drain that out but it wouldn't work uh, going out and over that lower cover so I had to re uh, but once I removed that lower cover then and, and ran the drain line down it uh, it all drained out just fine so there was no clog in there and the fuel looked good uh, I replaced the filter and inspected things lubricated what needed to be lubricated and uh, and uh, we'll see what else I can do here